So, I'd kind of been thinking about this hunt all week. You know, where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. And obviously, getting a deer is high on the list of objectives. But, I'd picked up some new kit during the week. And to be fair, this was just an excuse to get out and test drive that. Yeah. Uh, empty car park. A little bit of breeze, but uh, anyway, we're four o'clock. All right, let's get some gear squared away and uh, get walking. So, my first new bit of kit are my lower Zephyr GTX boots. They are a lightweight three season boot, primarily used by the military, but perfect for the hunt we're going on today. My next bit of kit is the Swift LT 60 plus 10 pack from Tatonka. It is Tatonka's response to the wave of new ultralight hunting. So over the next coming months I'll be putting it through its paces to make sure it can stand up to the New Zealand conditions. Bunt into a heap of fellas. Heading to guess where same spot I'm heading to but yeah definitely <laughs> not the most of uh, accommodating welcomes uh, in fact a little bit icy <laughs> but uh, it's all good plenty of deer up here to shoot so I told them where I'm heading and they're gonna head a little bit further past so <sighs> the entertainment for the day Um, those other guys are just oh, just behind coming up the track so we'll get set in get some gear squared away and wait for sunrise shooting tripod supported position but um gonna try and wait for a little bit more light for the get the big camera going and then do a uh, shooting formula and stand by anyway we'll get ready that take a bit 
give an opportunity to explain my um, shooting position. So, uh, because of the, the slope or the camp or the hill, um, trying to get underneath the rifle to, to get that angle up to shoot that, uh, have a crack at that deer, just too steep. And well, being able to utilize the shooting tripod to get that elevation so you can get right in behind the rifle, like in, you're with your. And they uh, um, butt stock right into the shoulder pocket. You know, some guys um, make the mistake of letting the, the letting the stock drop in the shoulder pocket, and the top of the scope sits a bit too high. And next minute, karate chop in the face. Yeah, so very handy to cart this around, but very heavy at the same time. So if you, um, I'll give you just a quick pan over. So I had to build the back up. So I could sit my chest on there, and um, I've got it split at that 45 degrees on the legs. Yeah, it was really comfortable behind there to be fair. All right, enough jibber jabber. Find another bloody deer. Well, as the morning wore on, it wasn't too long before I picked up my next target. This good stag out at 800 meters, but clearly in a hurry to go somewhere. Oh, he did him. absence of deal I'll give it um, five minutes I'll come off glass just to do a um, bit of an overview of some of the gear um, I brought out to test well field test wear whatever um, first of all the boots the um, Zephyr GTX uh, task force boots um, yeah oh, just comfortable as I oh, really can't um, say anything about them in terms of the walk-in I got them straight out of the box and uh, did a 20k training walk on them um, no no um, no hot spots in them no blisters no nothing so um, for this type of walk in along, basically along that four-wheel drive track absolutely perfect um, fingers crossed I might be able to test drive them for a recovery but um, they are just freakingly comfortable boots that's the old uh, lower Zephyr GTX. The other bit of kit I had out here was this. The Swift um, Light LT 60 plus 10. Um, everything's just been made real skinny on it. Got the V2 harness in it. Quite a different sort of system other than the, um, you know, the big metal bars that sit in the X1s. Um, comfortable as just oh yeah I couldn't help myself but it had G hooks on the top there look on the, the modulus because it's so light and nice um, I think it makes me soft because I'm so used to the extra weight of the modulus and the whole um, frame system but I reckon that pack's going to be a go for you guys out there that are, are really sort of weight conscious um, I believe they're going to maybe looking at an 80 for maybe some of those those big trips down the South Island when you want to carry a lot of kit and you want, you're quite conscious about um, every single gram that you're carrying. What was the other one? Oh, just this one here. And time I'm doing this, I'm always worrying about bloody um, fucking deer walking across faces and me missing them. Uh, this is my new recovery kit. It's actually a Tasmanian Tiger. If you guys don't know, Tasmanian Tiger is actually Tatonka's tactical range. Um, it's basically, uh, I think it's a Tac, or Tac 8 or Tac 4. 7 or 5 pouch, I'll um, I'll correct it with a little bit of text on the screen right about now. So, just open it up. So, what I've got in here is obviously recovery gloves. Zoe, Zoe's in there. Um, there's a diamond sharpening steel breakdown one. Good old silky. Got a couple of sachets of Huntsmart in there. Collapsible cup. And my good old um, Prusik press it loops for um, doing the old hanging the legs up so the tripod the tripod I've had for a um, 
I don't know for a while now and shot a few deer off it, but it's the it's the bog bog death grip carbon fiber model um, got a real good uh, pan and tilt yeah, like that and then adjust it over there or take it off and you can swivel it yeah I've been pretty impressed with it like anything though everything comes with a sacrifice and it's a I think it's about three kgs on weight um, but on you know shooting positions like this or we can't click clearance or angles are wrong it's just awesome but like I said the sacrifices you got to mahi hard and bring the big cumbersome heavy thing in with you but uh, combination with the old um, ultralight swift pack could be the go anyway that's it my time's over better get back to spotting deer Nothing like seeing deer on the private lane. <laughs> oh, good to see them, eh? But, um, they just need to be in the public lane, that's all. Anyway, oh, she's. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, there is. Four. And. Oh. Look like they're in a bit of a hurry. Shut up. encouraging. I'll zoom back here and try and find some in front of us. Well, that's good enough for me. Getting too bloody hot. Um, no more deer seen. A couple of thoughts uh, about the mission. Yeah, a bit slow to get onto that um, that first stag this morning, uh, right on daylight. Once again, that's the whole thing with the cameras and whatnot. And um, yeah, he just almost like he knew my crosshairs were on him and unfortunately the one at 800 another uh, fast moving deer that um, i didn't even have a chance to get set up just enough to film him so uh two um close calls but yeah not good enough um as for the kit uh, reviews or um updates uh the um didn't really get to use the gear in a uh, operational sense i suppose but uh, um, the boots the lower Zephyr GTX boots, yeah, comfortable ass. I, like, I, like I suspected, I mean, I wear these for work as well. But on this sort of hunt, um, they've worked out pretty well. Um, doing a recovery would have been the ultimate test, but never mind. Um, the old pack, Swift's um, prototype ultralight pack. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, really. And the old um, oh, recovery kit, didn't get to test that either. Um, other than that, Hope you guys enjoyed that little heads up video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next mission.